It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! <laughs> I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. All right, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 in the epilogue, part two now. Um, so your first task is, you've got two tasks. First task is you've got to find Carol, uh, Charles within one minute and 50 seconds. Uh, as soon as you arrive in St. Denise, so we're already on with that. Uh, your second task is you've got to uh, uh, shoot all four guys within 10 seconds. Uh, but that's in a bit, so we just turn left and right. We need to get on the horse, so you need to run to your horse to get on your horse to do this in that sort of time with it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to just go into the pub here. This guy will tell you where Charles is. You don't need hey, to go into the, any other saloon, Indian just this guy. one. So just work your way outside the door. Boxer, maybe. Like get on your horse. So that's it. Uh, so we just go around the corner here, and it's just right here. Um, so um, he has a fight, but he tells you that he's been throwing fights. But on this particular fight, he actually wins. Uh, so I bet on Charles, uh, the lone wolf, to win in this fight. So I'll see you on the next bit. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. 
have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales! And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Pretend he's Micah. You know what to do, Senior Smith. Oh, fuck, huh? Don't black out just yet. Come on, sir, hit him. What is it? Hit him, Charles. This is rave or something. No, Lone Wolf. Kill that bastard. Lone Wolf. Hit him, Lone Wolf. That's it. Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. It's your shit, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. I had to do a bit of cheering with the boxing. You are also funny watching boxing if you're not going to cheer. But like I say, you bet on Charles, you get $40. Uh, which in this point in the game, you got next to no money at all at the moment. So it's worth putting the bet on Charles when you get to that bit. And I'll see you uh, uh, when these spies attack us. We've got 10 seconds to do it. If had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me a satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. I never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Be careful. Why? Those? Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. 
On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> We're off, so 10 seconds, just kill this guy. And then this guy, both them two guys on your right hand side, and then these two guys on your left hand side, and that should be done. Ten seconds. Use your dead eye so for maximum accuracy there. And that should be both tasks done now. Uh, find Charles within one minute and fifteen seconds, fifty seconds after arriving in Saint Denis. And the second okay. task is uh, kill all up, them uh, guys, the all them four ten. guys within uh, 10 seconds. You see any law? Right here. Keep your eye out. Santa Ni ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? Yeah. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Boom, Shankar!